Oggi drei farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. This is Hetty again from Nanny's Italian Kitchen. On this beautiful Sunday, I'm going to be making for you, because I had a couple of requests, chicken frangettes. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to cut the chicken. But you can buy the chicken thin sliced at the supermarket or your butcher. However, it costs a lot more money. So I'm gonna show you what I do with the thick sliced chicken breasts. I'm going to clean it up and take all the nerves and fat off of it. My uh, sons, as you probably know from now, don't like, they're a little fussy eaters. They don't like any fat, any nerves, anything. And the cutlets have to be thin. If they're too thick, they don't like it. So. This is the little tail end, or what you would use, what they use for chicken fingers. I use it, but I bang it very thin. Okay, I have most of them already done. Then I take off the excess here, and there's a little nerve in there, but we get it other ways. Watch. I gotta get it really thin. Uh, my mother was a butcher, so she showed me a little bit of how to uh, do this stuff. Now, you don't have to use chicken if you don't want. You can use veal. My mother sometimes used pork, pork cutlets. You can use whatever you want. If you want beef, you use beef. But we like chicken here. Uh, we don't use veal because, well, my daughter went with her class one year to this farm and they showed how they make veal. She never wanted a veal cutlet after that again. So I'm trying to get this as thin as I can. It's a little piece here. Usually I have bigger slices, but I cut it down here and get that nerve out. God forbid they should find that there. And if I, if it's a little too thick, I just pound it out a little bit. Okay, so I have about three pounds here. Three pounds of chicken cutlets clean. I have some fresh parsley, and you never put your uh, parsley or garlic or whatever on the board that you cut the chicken because that's salmonella. We're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna clean it and then I'll be back to show you how to put everything together. Okay, so like I said, I have three pounds of cutlets here sliced thin. I've got a cup of flour, which I'm going to put a little salt in and some garlic powder to season it up. Maybe a teaspoon. And then I have six eggs beaten. And what I'm gonna do is put a cup of grated Italian cheese, which is, we like it cheesy and we like it lemony. Okay, so that's about a cup. And then I have a good handful of fresh parsley. You could use the bottle kind, but nothing like fresh. And a little bit of salt in here. And you mix it all around. So what we're gonna do is we're going to flour the chicken cutlets and then dip in the egg and then fry. Okay, so I floured all my chicken and the oil is hot and ready. And I'm going to dip the cutlets in the egg and fry them. You put the flour on so the egg will stick. 
If you don't like the parsley, you don't have to add the parsley. But I've always put it in, that's what my mother did. I don't always do what my mother did, but for the most part, she was a pretty good cook. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I almost fried my finger. Yeah. Uh, but my mother was a pretty good cook. She didn't bake too much. The only thing she made was the uh, Easter cheesecake, the pastilla. And she made that pretty well. And now I'm the family pastilla maker. I usually send my aunt Camilla a piece because my mother was the only one in the family that did the pastilla. And I would do a video on it, but it's a two-day process, so I don't know. We'll see next Easter. But when this is uh, brown on one side, you turn them over. One is already brown, I can see. Oh, no, not, not long. I no, would, not long. Two, three minutes. And then uh, they're already browning. And this is perfect. They're perfect golden. And I'll come back when I fry them all, and then I'll show you the next step. It's a, a I guess a three-step process, but anyway, it's worth it. It's delicious. Okay, so I have all my cutlets fried in the egg. What I'm going to do now is, if you have a small amount of cutlets to make, you can do it in a frying pan. But if you have two trays like this and the one I have over there, bigger one. Then you gotta put the butter and the lemon and put it in the oven because otherwise you'll be here forever with butter and lemon and taking it out with butter and lemon. So I'm only gonna do a few in the pan and then I'll show you what I do with the uh, larger tray, okay? So here we go, I put a lot of butter. You don't have to put it in a, in a, more butter if you don't like it, but butter and lemon, that's what we like. So I have like three tablespoons of butter in here. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more, four tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of butter. Melt the butter on medium. Go. And then I'm gonna take, this guy's gotta melt a little bit. I want to get it all melted. If you're on a diet, this is not the dish for you. So what you do with the butter, you take the cutlets, about five or six. It's okay, at five, you could fit five in this pan. And then you put about the juice of two lemons. I have here six lemons that have been, uh, that I've juiced. I'm sure I'm gonna probably need more. So you put the juice of like two lemons here. That's only for five cutlets. And you let it simmer in there for a little bit. There you go. You see it's juicing, it's soaking up all the lemon and the butter. And then you do that like a couple of minutes on each side to absorb the butter and the lemon. And then you turn it over. Okay, so it's been simmering in the butter and the lemon for a couple of minutes on each side, maybe three on each side. The goodness is right. Okay. Now, if you have a big amount, like I said, you put them in a pan, you cover it with butter, however much butter you like. We like a lot of butter, a lot of lemon. And then I would pour the lemon over it and then put it in the oven for about a 15 20 minutes if it's room temperature. If you make, if you put it in the refrigerator and you want to make it at a later time, you take it out. 
try to let it go to room temperature, put the butter on and then the lemon and then put it in the oven. You're probably gonna have to cook it a little bit more, but take a look at that. Looks delicious. I'm gonna taste it or my son's gonna taste it. Who I'm, wants to taste I'll it? I'll taste it. Go ahead, well, you taste it. Okay. I'm gonna take Let's a little bite here. Kind of off. I'll eat it. Lemon and buttery. Delicious. And by the way, I put two more eggs because I had so many cutlets. I had like three pounds and I get a lot of cutlets out of it because I cut it thin. It was actually three and three quarters pounds. Oh, well, by the time I cleaned it, it was a little bit of three and a quarter. So I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And until next time, bon appetit. Hi, this is Hetty from Nanny's Italian in the Kitchen again. Oh, wow, my son. <laughs> <laughs>